Less than a decade ago, New York City's schools sucked badly. One in four students dropped out while those who did pass couldn't get jobs. But here in one of the poorest sections of Brooklyn, the hoped for solution, students making robots and talking big about life after school. Me personally, I want to start my own business when I grow up in computer software, so just help me out. This is P-Tech, a public school where students leave with two diplomas, one for high school, the other for college, an idea born in the most unlikely of places, the U.S. Open. The head of IBM sitting in the stands with New York's top school official complaining about a hiring crisis at IBM, few candidates with the skills needed to get jobs. That this isn't a jobs problem, this is a skills problem. We know that there's, in the next 10 years, there's gonna be 14 million jobs in the United States that require what we call middle skills. And um, we need to better prepare our students for that. Because it's really not about a push model where education is pushing kids into careers, but at the same time, business has to reach out and pull the kids into careers too. And that's just what happened. New York schools paired with IBM and City College to create a program where industry helped define the curriculum. They're learning networking skills, they're learning troubleshooting skills, critical thinking skills, they're learning um, actually technical skills of hardware and software computer programming. P-Tech, as it's called, is only in its second year, but it's caught the attention of a former university professor turned... They've been trained for the jobs that are there. ...president of the United States. Now at schools like P-Tech in Brooklyn, students will graduate with a high school diploma and an associate's degree in computers or engineering. P-Tech is the normal four years of high school plus another two years of a college program added on to it. That seems like six years, but students can go at their own pace here, meaning if they want to do it in four years, they can. I try to do it faster because well, by the time I finish high school, I want to finish my degree too. That's her plan, and this is her robot. One in four students here are young women, a much higher percentage of girls than are usually attracted to the technical field. What are the next steps? Nyasia also loves computers, and Karen Thompson is here to keep her inspired. Thompson is an IBM employee appointed to be Nyasia's mentor something every student here gets. She's an awesome, awesome little person. I say little person, she's taller than me, but <laughs> as a young person, definitely an awesome, awesome opportunity to give back. We get a chance to bridge that gap. They get a chance to see, okay, this is the curriculum and this is where they want me to go. How do I get there? And my role and my job is to help her understand how to get there. That's a big difference, especially for families unable to afford skyrocketing college tuition. It's all covered by the public system. IBM provides expertise, but not cash. And for the school system, P-Tech costs no more than any other school. We're a city that's seen 27 consecutive budget cuts since the beginning of the Great Recession uh, nearly six years ago now. And so there are extraordinarily finite resources and we need to make them go as far as possible. P-Tech is the star of New York schools and there are plans to pair industry, college and high school at more facilities, not just here in New York, but across the U.S. And as for those dropout rates, well, only two students have ever left P-Tech. People have in their minds that they're college students from the moment they start and that if they do everything that's being asked of them, they're first in line for jobs at IBM. Yes. That's right. IBM has promised the students priority treatment for employment once they graduate. Not bad for an idea created over a tennis match. David Common, CBC News in Brooklyn, New York.